Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister again, Portia Mohau. Uh, family, <laughs> you know, the Lord Jesus said in the book of John chapter 8, if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. He was talking to the Jews that had, you know, because he was saying he's the light. The argument actually started when he was saying he is the light. Then he has, they are saying to him, like, you have, you, you are, in a sense, being witness to yourself. Then he goes on to tell them, to tell them. And then he talks of, of the truth. You know, they are telling him of Abraham and all that. His words that challenge me, before I tell you the story, is, Whom the Son of God set, sets free is free indeed. People don't take the truth. The way the truth he was telling and people didn't want it. You see, uh, people didn't want him because he is the truth. He is the light and they don't want that. They wanted to believe in their father, Abraham. And yet in the book of John, Jesus was telling them that you are saying you are the, father, you are the sons of, 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 of Abraham, right? He's your father. Yet you do not do the works of your father. You do not even walk the way Abraham walked. You see, because Abraham believed what God told him. You see, if you go to the book of Hebrews, they say it was counted to him as righteousness because of his faith. So the story I want to tell you, I went to visit a church. Family, in my journey, I visited churches. And sometimes it would be an invite from someone that please come and invite, uh, uh, visit us in our church. And on this particular church I went to, I was quite far from home, you know, and I went to this church. I'm telling you, familiar spirit would want to follow you anywhere, especially if they do, do not find God as the center of why people are saying church. You know what? You see, familiar spirit find people playing church. People that say we are the son of Abraham. People who don't practice the word. People who are doing it for I know how to speak. You know, then I'll just go on the pulpit. See, family, pulpit is not for personal attacks. Pulpit is not for, for gossip, indirect gossip. Pulpit is pull them out from the pit. Pulpit is for the for preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Pulpit is not an employment you got from people and it's you doing the work of the Lord. So I went to this church. The pastor was just gossiping. The pastor was just Family, it was just gossip. It was just personal attacks on his members, on everybody. And as I'm sitting there annoyed, here comes the spirit. That is not meant to come and be in a church. You see, in a place where it, it, it's it, uh, um, a group of believers. When the spirit came, it started showing me uh, you, you, you also need to listen. This spirit, I can classify it as an it. But I'm not classifying it as a him. Because a him is the spirit of truth, is the spirit of God. The spirit that came and, and started showing me things. Uh, there was um, child dedication. Yeah, actually in that church, they were baptizing a child. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> a child, yes. So this ceremony, it was, it was gossip, personal attacks, but there's this child that needs to be dedicated, right? The spirit came and started showing me. Uh, look at the ones that are saying, Hallelujah! They are his girlfriends. Look at the child that is being dedicated. Do you see there's no man? That is his child. Look at the wife. I, look at, I looked at the wife. I felt a burden. 
of the wife. I looked at him. I saw a man who's a walking corpse and who has spread disease amongst his own family. He continued and the more he continues, the more the spirit is so loud. So much. I was sitting there, I was praying and I was like, please, can't you at least say something from the word of God? Preach the gospel of Jesus. Please release me from listening to this because it's so loud. Showing me the nakedness of your, your church. And I look at a congregation, my heart was broken. My heart, I was really family crying for the people. And I, I searched deep. I prayed and I saw how he kept all these prisoners of enslaved in their minds because of what he had kept in a pulpit underneath, you know, the podium underneath there. There was something he had kept to have all that crowd. And this, this spirit kept talking, accusing him. You know why? Because he has given a right. He is not of God. You see, and he has given these spirits right to, to, to work and room and do as they please in, the, in, in this building. I can't even say his church, his building. And I was sitting there listening to them, praying in silence. And you know, have you ever, family, there is nothing that will laugh at you like a demon that you are trying to cast out. And you have a secret sin. There is nothing that is fun for a demon that you are trying to pray against when a territory belongs to demons. Like it's going to have enjoyment attacking you, telling you. The voices were so loud. I took my Bible. I walked out. I went to another church that was Christ-centered. And preached nothing else but the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's the gospel family that sets people free. And when I sat in the church where they preached the gospel, everything was so peaceful. And I, I was like, God, do I expose these people that have these things under the pulpit? Do I go? How do I do it? Like, I want to... How do I free the minds of people that have been enslaved by these wicked men that were suits, but they are not yours? The Holy Spirit of truth will calm you down. And family, you can never fight for God. <laughs> See God? No, you can't fight for God. Family, the, the wife and the pastor divorced. And people followed you. All of them. They followed the woman. <laughs> you know why? In her crying. In her pain. In her humiliation. In her rejection. She remained a true. A true gospel preacher. She remained a true vessel of honor. Because even when the scandals were happening. In the church. The woman remained steadfast. She kept Pray. She kept preaching the gospel so much that her husband was humiliating her, you know, that she she has she doesn't have fire. But the woman, the anointing of God was upon her. And people followed her because of of of, of the gospel. And those who are enslaved remained with the fake one. But with time, things started going down for the church. It was no longer a crowd. It was like few peanuts inside. Why? Because they choose not to listen to the word. They choose to, 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 to opt for, for doctrines that will entice them. You know, that will please me. But to it does. But I didn't take it as I. People that love the gospel, that, that makes them laugh. Or, you understand, that suits their feelings. But the, the, the word of God is not about your feelings. You have to pull your feelings down to the word of God. You, you let the, 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 your feelings align it, 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 themselves with the truth. 
because that's how you get to be convicted that's how you get to repent that's how you get to see the truth and the light but if you want to dance to lies you have also enslaved yourself so i left that church simply because familiar spirit were inside the church showing me the nakedness of the congregation the nakedness of the men of god the men a man of God with people with abortions. The way, hallelujah. You see, when you say hallelujah, the spirit directs me to you walking grave for the past. And I did not want to listen to that. I just walked in silence, took my Bible and left. You know why? If there's no Christ. If Christ is not the center of it, let's leave it. Let's, let's, let's not even start it. Because Christ is the center of everything. He is the beginning. He is the end. If between him there is none, he is king above all. Hey, family, I'm not preaching, but anyway, I was telling you a story. You know, when I talk about Jesus Christ, I become like that man that Jesus healed and said he should not tell anyone. You see, he, he went to the synagogue, but he started talking. <laughs> he had tasted. The Samaritan woman didn't waste time. I'm not a prophet. That's the thing that happens when we talk about the Lord of Lords. The deliverer, the healer, the way maker, the truth, the way and life. May the grace of God be with you. Family, never compromise on any doctrine that you hear, if Christ is not the center, please keep your preaching to yourself. We preach nothing else but Christ crucified. He is the very reason why we preach. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed.